All right, we are uh, watching. Oh, you were playing, and now we are watching Eddie a uh, Gears Five little Easter egg that you found. I'm Jess McDonald, and um, look at this. What's uh, what's this remind you of? Yeah, so this is early on in the Gears Five campaign. This is a clearly, you know, an obvious reference to. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda's famous play uh, yeah. Hamilton, but in the game it's called Embry. Yeah. And Embry is actually the name of a political leader from the Gears of War uh, universe. Um, his name is Nasser Embry, and he's, I don't know if you could say he's the equivalent of Alexander Hamilton, but you know, he's a political leader from the past. Right. And that, that was clearly the, um, the inspiration for this. So this is. Extremely cute. Um, where about, <laughs> how far into the game is this? Uh, so this is in Act 1, uh, so it's fairly early on in the game, maybe you know, like an hour and a half, two hours in at the most. Um, yeah, so I got here from, you're, you know, you're just escaping the locusts or the, or the swarm um, who are coming at you, and you escape into this theater, the Palace Theater, which right. is where you can, uh, yeah, as you can obviously see. That poster. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, and here's a collectible. So it took me two tries to come through here. I eventually found this collectible, and it's the lyrics to a song called Nasser Embry, That's My Name, <laughs> which is the opening song to the Embry the Musical. And obviously, this is, again, a reference to uh, Hamilton, or yeah. Alexander Hamilton, the opening song in the, in the play Hamilton. And you can sing along um, to yourself here, and you can um, <laughs> sing along to the tune of Hamilton, and it sort of works. We won't sing along, yeah. but <laughs> we will spare unless you that. there are a lot of comments saying we should. But, um, yeah, look at this. Uh, this is pretty, this is pretty spot on <laughs> with the way that song goes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I was really impressed with the level of detail. And even in here, you can see the, uh, you know, their, their dressing rooms are all adorned oh, with yeah. little, uh, little pieces, not all of which are in reference to Hamilton, but just it's a nice, you know, piece of, uh, you know, it's, it's a nice touch. So why are you in this theater again? You're only in this theater because you just needed to get out of a fight uh, oh, that was happening okay. outside. So uh, it was a safe corridor. Ah, so very cute little Easter egg. Yeah, and it continues like every room of this place is filled with just references to Embry and imagery, you know, stage. I mean, you're obviously in a theater. Yeah. Um, and on this sheet, it's like casting calls, oh, wow. things like that. Um, you know, there's probably more to be found in here, so, I mean, have a look for yourself when you get your hands on the game. Have you stumbled on many other Easter eggs so far, or is this the main one? Oh, quickly. So this is Jay Stratton. He was Ooh. in the earlier games. He's now the president of the Jay Stratton Film Company. Right. And then that last thing we saw there was actually Nasser himself, a bust of his head. Oh. Um, so. Let's check and here's the point when I looked at the snack machine for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I thought there might be another reference. You never know. Yeah, so um, have there been many Easter eggs? This is really the only one I've found so far. Um, I'm sure there are more. I'm sure there are more. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm not quite finished with the game yet myself, so I'm sure I'll find some more. I'm really trundling through that furniture. Just trying to find everything, knocking everything <laughs> down. Here comes the big moment. Uh, hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a headache. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so now we're entering the actual stage. Um, and as you'll see in a moment, it's, you know, very close to the actual Hamilton production stage. Right. Let's get that curtain open. There's another top hat. I mean, that could be many things, but... <laughs> I think someone yeah. wears a top hat. I don't yeah. know. That play is expensive. Yeah, so you can also see the rotating uh, stage Cute. in the middle. It's not rotating yet, but that'll come into play later. So mm -hmm. you'll see that. And then the wraparound wooden the uh, set. Area, yeah, 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 the raptors. That's all um, pretty much like it is in the actual production, which is really <laughs> cool to see. There we go. Okay. Let's try this one. Oh, damn. Uh, guys, we got a problem. Oh, it's getting real. So this is probably my favorite part of this level, not only because it's a big gunfight, because as you'll hear in a minute, the, um, the music is a huge change for the Gears of War franchise. They have always done their very cinematic kind of music, oh, wow. but now this is clearly another inspiration to theater in that it's a very over-the-top, you know, theatrical, musical kind of score, which you don't really get in the series. I guess that's trying to be a reference. I mean, it doesn't sound like any of the music from it to me. Yeah, but... you've listened to more than I have. I couldn't really piece it together if this is, you know, one of the songs they're trying to riff on. I um, don't know. It's hard to tell. But if you do know, let us know. But the, uh, the rotating stage is pretty cool. Nice little jazzy soundtrack, too. Very cool. Yeah, so I think I walk onto this platform in a minute. You'll see, oh yeah, so it's starting to rotate now. Yeah. Okay. 
handy chest high wolves. <laughs> exactly. Can't be mad about that. <laughs> wherever they come from. Looks real smooth. Yeah, so at the, yeah, I mean, and I just love the attention to detail too, um, all around, you know, in the background and the foreground, uh, shooting at my teammates for a second there by accident. Oops. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Gotta be on guard. Oh, I see all the lights have come up too. Yeah, so just a few more enemies to clear out here. I tried to shoot out that door. I guess it's a piece of immovable object. You can't really do that, but. Picking up the heavy machinery to try to end the mission, but it looks like everyone's gone already. So oh. I'm not much of a, like, gears head. That's probably not what they call them. <laughs> Is this kind of um, environmental design typical of gears? Um, it's a bit more expansive. Like there aren't, there weren't in the past games levels that were, you know, quite this large. Right. Um, I mean, it's always known for its big set pieces, and different parts of the game are even, you know, there's much, much more than yeah. just this one level. But this level is, you know, is representative. That's cool. So yeah, I think that is the end. Yeah, we're going to exit the theater here, and there's one more little callback to Embry, where they really put... Oh, not quite Is yet. it this? <laughs> this is not it. I forgot remember about Remember in Hamilton when yeah. he gets hit by the robot? <laughs> I remember that bit. Yeah, this is likely... I mean, I imagine um, there are other Easter eggs to be found. Um, I don't know. I mean, this one is more intricate and detailed and in-depth than what I would have thought from a typical Easter egg. Like, there's a whole, you know, submission dedicated to it. And here's the final scene. Right in your face. Embry. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, so that was it. That was the Gears 5 Embry slash Hamilton Easter egg. Cool. Yeah, really cool. Hopefully we didn't reveal too much of the plot for you guys who are holding out on it. Uh, but do let us know if you see any other little Easter eggs, if you got any commentary on the game so far. And uh, do stay tuned. Our review will be out in the coming days. Lizzie, thank God. Affirmative. I've been diverted like six times. I can pick you up.